It's not that we haven't been working at it, but every now and again there comes a time in history where suddenly all the stars are aligned and you take that opportunity and you move. And I think that this is one um, where the European Union has been really helpful in putting a substantial amount of resources behind this issue. That helps. We wanted to, to change the mindset, to change the attitude, to change the, the, the understanding uh, of, the, of, the, of the problem. And we focused on, on a violence against women and girls because we see that violence is preventing so many aspects of, a, of, a, of a women's, uh, women's uh, empowerment. If you deny access to education to a girl, to a woman, then this is a form of violence against uh, women and girls. If you deny access to, to, to maternal uh, health, to sexual and reproductive health and rights, this is again violence uh, against uh, women and girls. So uh, we, we would like to tackle with the root causes of violence in each and every aspect from a physical violence to, to this uh, uh, economic and social uh, violence uh, against women and girls. programs themselves will be happening in countries where it matters most and so really finding a way to communicate that and put pressure on policymakers and those who can take the decisions to bring an end to this. Violence against women and girls is a global issue. It's a it's, it's a uh, global tragedy, I would say, and therefore the responses must be as global uh, as possible. Um, there's a change in generation um, of what is acceptable and not, and people are speaking up. And I think that we're also getting more men's voices behind this. So I think at the time is now. Mm -hmm.